I got a broken stub, whatever that is. You know, good six inches, maybe more, on this oak tree. And the tree's got all kinds of problems, but this is just a structural issue. That thing broke off in a storm. It got overextended, reached for late. But I want to talk about how the tree naturally responded. Right now, let's talk, let's talk about storm damage, right? The tree responded by putting off, putting in a new growth there and a new growth there. Now, whatever this is, that's probably three, four years ago that happened, maybe two, but it could even been last year. But anyhow, we got some new growth going and we want to preserve that. That tree put it there for a reason. So we're just going to cut the stub off a couple inches out. We're not trying to get close. We're not trying to scratch up the new growth. We're just going to get rid of the stub so it's not aesthetically an issue from the ground. And I'm quite sure that, you know, you send 10 guys up here, they'd have made that, they'd have, to say, go ahead, cut that stub off right after it broke. And they'd cut it in like five or six different places. So who cut it in the right spot? Who knows? But in this case, we waited, not on purpose, just accidentally. We're just here now. And it happened a while ago. And we can see that's better for the tree to let the tree make itself up its own mind in its own time. We know what it's going to do, what it's not going to do. We can pull away some of this dead bark here. We can see this new callus growth right here. We just want to make sure we cut outside that and not scratch up the new bark and it's all good.